Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind Mac at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please Please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, if you feel like the videos just give you just a good uplift and insight that you truly need it, please, you know, go ahead and share. It would be greatly appreciated. Y'all, if y'all hear this noise in the background, I'm heating up my, my water for my tea. You know, I haven't been drinking tea lately and I need to go ahead and get back to it. Plus, the air is on and got me real cold. So, uh, if you hear a ding off and I pause for a minute, that's the reason why. The video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, no worries. Just embrace your beautiful mistake. You know, there's a lot of times that, you know, we may be going through different things in our life. Y'all, hold on just a second. Who's about to go off? See, there it go. Hold on just a second. Yeah, I'm back. But anyways, there'll be different times in your life that, you know, uh, especially when we're going through these huge changes that are taking place. You know, a lot of times our past will come back and, you know, it feel like it's haunting us. And, you know, be different times that you, you've healed and evolved for so much. There'll be different things that come up. It, it could be your past from when you were... Uh, 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 you know, um, a teenager or adolescent or even start certain thing that you went through. It could be a month, you know, a month, uh, ago or a couple of years ago. And they're telling you, you know, no worries about that. That was a beautiful mistake. These are the different things that you may be going through. Even, even if it's happened recently, there may be, take for example, there could be somebody that, you know, um, that you may have really missed into your life and they come back into your life and they're telling you, you know, you'll, you'll see the different vibes just by holding a conversation is that, you know, maybe it'll be certain things where they uh, may have took advantage of you or they may be irritated by the, you know, the things that you talk about or, you know, you were the type of person that you supported them and they just, they didn't support you back. And now you can still see, you know, like, okay, the changes hasn't taken place in their life. Um. And just allow yourself to just branch off and say, okay, well, I see that, you know, the energy is not the same. You know, the energy is still the same, except it done got heavier. Let me allow myself to disconnect it at, you know, really, you know, treat myself accordingly. And then it's just like, you know, the universe don't want you to feel like, you know, here I go again. You know, I don't went back and, um, you know, uh, really allow myself to, you know, deal with people that don't really, you know, deal with me in the same way I want to deal with them. And it, it can be very hurtful. And they're telling you it's okay. You had to be able to go through that situation for you to understand where where your needs need to be met out when it comes to yourself or, you know, how you need to allow yourself to act accordingly to you. You know, don't sit up here and um you know, put yourself in situations just because you're lonely or just because you may miss people. You know, a lot of times we can miss people, but you also have to understand why the universe removed them out of our lives in the first place. And these are those times you're learning, you know, because right now we're getting hectic where it can be really that you, you know, you're, you're really wanting to have that connection with other people. You're tired of being in solitude. You know, you may be tired of, you know, waiting on love to come your way. And there will be different times where, you know, you dead set, where you feel that vibration you're like no don't do it caroline don't do it cletus don't do it come on from the light claire caroline come on from the light and these are those times that are telling you really understand what universe is showing you there'll be different things like when you connect with that person there'll be different key elements that's there that's showing you different things how they may have uh you you may have needed some help or assistance with a certain person and you see that they were like you know they knew you, they know your situation or they know what's going on with you especially if you had talked to them about it or whatever or it could be something you, you've still been dealing with and then you'll notice how they'll support somebody else and not support you and that can be a very hurtful situation and it'll be just that that type of situation where it tells you they they always have been about they're not going to support you just because it's you they see there's a fact of you that you're evolving you're you're moving you're healing and even when you had needed that help and they still don't help you yeah that could be a hurtful situation but then it's just like 
allow yourself to honor the truth that they showed you but also act accordingly to yourself this is at that time you don't know what's unfolding for you you don't know what god has in store for you around the corner and these are those things you had to be able to see that you know their energy hasn't changed just because you have changed doesn't mean other people have and these are those mistakes that you had to make for you to be able to learn those valuable lessons within that you needed that where it's telling you you know don't go don't go back to something that god done tore up out of your life don't go back to something out of that that vibration of being lonely these are those situations to not be embarrassed or being shameful of or even make yourself like i'm so stupid why did i do that you have a kind heart and they're telling you that you have a very kind heart, but you also have to understand enough where people see that kindness and use it for weakness and expect you to be able to project blindness. They don't want you to be able to see the fact is they're manipulating you. They don't want the fact to see you um, for you to see that they that you don't mean you don't mean to them like they mean to you. You know, that vibration is totally different, but you can allow yourself to pray for them. You know, there are some people that are still going and they're trying to find their place in life and they just don't know how to be able to go about it. They don't know how to be able to heal from certain things into your life. And you have to be able to get that. You have to be able to understand that there'll be different people that just don't like you just for the fact is that how you are loved by different people how you can make something so little and be able to project something so big you know just how you carry yourself how you you know allow yourself to stay busy on different things into your life you know and these are the different things where we're learning so many life lessons through everything and a lot of times those uh those experiences can be very hard you know especially when you've gone through it and i mean you're going through it like back to back to back to back to back and it's, it will make you just want to just fall back and say f it i quit i'm tired you know and this is that that time where universe god angels is like no you are not we know you're tired you take that rest but you are not quitting you are not giving up you are not folding in on yourself this is at that time where you're really peaking where you need to show up for yourself but you had to go through these experiences be able to know this is what you had to experience this is how you had to understand regardless of how good you to people they don't guarantee you it's going to be back to you you know and it was like a video i was seeing the other day a lot of times god will pull these people back because they have evil intents for you or these are different people they have in your life that just refuse to heal just refuse to learn from those lessons and for that to happen god will pull them back out of your life and he's still working on them but he's also still working on you and these are the things we had to really learn by these are the different things that we had to heal from and it will be different times where you you know you really will speak negative to yourself it's like why didn't i see this coming or why did this person keeps coming back into my life you you know universe will allow you to go through certain experiences and like i said to y'all the other day different things or history will be repeating itself especially with it being so heavy right now you know telling you to really learn those lessons really learn those lessons it doesn't make you naive or stupid it's just the fact is our our good hearts gets us in a lot of trouble but these are the also things you have to understand just because you're kind you know people see that as a weak thing when you show emotions people see that as weak you know and that's actually a big strength because you're allowing yourself to be an emotional person you're allowing yourself to be sensitive you know there's a lot of times people feel like i can't cry Mom, why you can't cry <laughs> you know like, why can't you cry even the strongest people cry and i tell people real quick people be saying girl you are so strong i, I mean there's times where y'all don't sit up here and see me trying to fight back tears you know because i feel it there or there'll be different love that i feel from y'all that y'all project out to me or there'll be different things where i can feel that y'all are going through because there's a lot of times where i'm doing these videos even when y'all dropping text messages or y'all sending me comments here i can feel that the wars that you're facing the battles you're facing you know and you're trying your best bet to put your best foot forward you know and for those things you know it it, it takes time it really takes time you know i i hate using that word but it takes time you know and they're telling you don't allow yourself to punish yourself over these mistakes you have it's a beautiful mistake because it allows you to see you know allow yourself to be strong with your intuitive allow yourself to go by your gut allow yourself to be your intuition is your intuition your intuitive and your gut is your silent alarm they're going to tell you that certain things ain't right or you you know being able to sit with yourself for a minute before you make rash decisions 
you know, with us being in conjunction and with the metro, I, I mean the metro grade, the Mercury retrograde that's going on, they're telling you not to jump into anything, especially if something very business like or very serious like. Don't jump into that so quick. These are the times where you have to really just allow yourself to. Uh, Think about it and sit with it first before you jump into it. Don't jump into something because you're ready to be in love with somebody. Don't jump into somebody because you're ready to be in a relationship with somebody. Don't jump into something because you're ready to get buddy-buddy with somebody or opening up business deals and stuff like that. You have to really be able to feel the vibes off and you understand, is this your ego? Is this coming from the heart? Is this coming from God? Is this something from the universe? Because if it's something nourishing for you, it's going to be something that God is going to be able to send. But if it's something that's giving you you mix feelings that's not from them <laughs> that is not from them that's the devil because it's just the fact is he sees that you you trying all your all to be able to heal and they're doing each and everything to be able to knock you down and they get pissed off when you allow yourself you know you may be feeling like you're falling apart baby you loading up you are loading up you know they, they god knows you get aggravated you have your little choice of words like with god like look you know, <laughs> like I'm tired of all this mess that you put me through. But it's just like you had to be able to make those mistakes. It's like when you come into the future and you leveling up, you want to be able to see the people that are not there for you. Or you see that they're all about seeing how they can be beneficial towards you. You know, what can I be able to be beneficial towards that? People, you know, there'll be people, you hear that saying a lot. You, when, you know, people will support you until they start seeing you as competition. Or you'll see a lot of times people just hate you just how people love you. You know, it don't have to be materialistic things. It could just be just just the fact is how you carry yourself. You They be the uh, ones that be wishing all type of hell into your life. And you could be that one. You'll have a tear and, and just wipe it off and say this too shall pass. This is only temporary. You know, the things that people are placing on me is going to strengthen me anyway. They're speeding up the process to whatever God has for me. Let me allow myself to keep going. And when you're allowing yourself to do that, enemy gets pissed off because they want you to give up. They want want you to be open so you can allow yourself to get whatever you know but these are those things that you had to be able to go through that even what they're putting on you is the beautiful mistakes that goes on into your life that these are strengthening you it may hurt now but it's gonna heal later it's healing you now it's gonna strengthen later or it's strengthening you now it's like either or these are the different things that's taking place into your life where it was really needed it was really needed. They tell you don't be shameful of it. Don't be embarrassed. Because the fact is you have a good heart. And you see past a lot of things. You give people so many chances where it's telling you. Now it's at that point. You know where any relationship. Whether it's a, a family relationship. A friend relationship. A co-worker relationship. Baby mama, baby daddy relationship. Husband and wife. You know life partner. All these different things. Nobody's not perfect. Nobody is not perfect. But when it comes to that point where. You only should have to repeat. You only should have to be able to say that once, or maybe even twice. But after that third time, it's becoming a habit. People know they heard you the first time. They know exactly what they're doing. You have to be able to say, "Let me allow myself to disconnect," because I already see. I need to not allow myself to connect with people that are comfortable with misunderstanding me. They're comfortable with trying to hurt me. They're comfortable on trying to, you know, disturb my element of peace. This is certain things I needed that. And then I can see where in my spot, where where am I option to them, or am I opportunity to them, or is this something that they really see my worth? They really see the quality in me, you know, of of, of whatever strength I have or whatever, and they see that and they want to bond with that. You know, there'll be different people that'll see you. You don't got to remind them the million time of who you are or what bothers you or what hurts you, especially if you're dealing with adults. You don't have to deal with stuff like that because people know right from wrong. They know exactly what they're doing. You know, there'll be sometimes, yes, things will happen unsubconsciously. But there'll be a lot of times where that, that they already know. You already know. But these are the situations where you can allow yourself to say, you know what, I needed that. So when this comes back around again and I start feeling those different vibes, I'll be able to pick up on it real quick and being able to exit. You know, it's like, eh, you know, you show me who you were that time and, you know, I, I appreciate what you showed me. Now I got to move accordingly. I'm in my vibration right now. Well, yeah, starting, not right now, but it's, that's going to be a permanent thing where my boundaries are not just going to be set for you, but they're going to be set for me. 
you know, regardless on what, what's going on, what I needed, I have to allow myself to know if I need you, when I needed you right there and you weren't there for me, it's just the fact that I, I, I don't need you again. You have to be at that vibration. A lot of times it's hard to be able to do that. But now it's like universe is telling you be assertive with yourself. This is at that time to really self-assess. This is at that time where you're doing emotional clearing. These will be those different times where God and universe and also the devil will start you know boxing you up and there may be certain things that you may need out there and it's like guys like rely on me don't rely on people because you know when we put all our faith in people we get disappointed too much put it up with them you know and that's what they're doing and, and it's just going to allow you to really grow and it's really going to strengthen you in different ways where you can really look back and say i needed that whatever disturbed my peace at that time may have broke my heart may have had me in a sleepless night i needed that so when I get through these experiences and I allow myself to heal, I will understand why these certain situations had to take place, what I had to learn from that, you know, why these certain things had to come my way in the first place. And, you know, and these are the different things. It's like we're, we're going to get to that point, even when right now you may not feel that way, but it's going to get to that point where you're like, you know, what, I needed that in my life. These are the different things that really helped me, you know. Um, even though it hurt me for what somebody did to me that you know that that shows you how they carry themselves that shows how they feel about themselves they, you know you may see that you know that that uh, a post where it's like people when they go out their way to hurt people normal people don't do that you know hating people ain't happy and happy people ain't hating you have to be able to understand that as well you know misery loves company you know, and it's just the fact is when you ain't RSVP and that, people ain't going to want to be around you. It's just like when you start getting so positive and you have that boundary up, people ain't going to want to be around you. That's going to, ugh, I'm just tired of all that love and light. Namaste. You know, different stuff that's going on. It's just like when they want to talk about different things that's going off in the world where it needs to change or different things that is like theories. And, you know, really wanting to be able to do that. And that really disturbs somebody. I said, oh, you want me to talk about what Pookie and them were doing down the street, the gang bag and stuff like that. You know, the different riffraffs. Oh, yeah, we can talk about it. Mm. That ain't part of my growth. That, you know, even if you try to have a situation like that, would be me faking a funk. And I don't want to be fake about nothing. I want to keep it real. If I can't have no discussion to you about world involvement, healing, stepping up to the plate, going to the next level, what I'm trying to manifest in my life and trying to help you get there too, or whatever, or we trying to support each other, that lets me know clearly that I'm not that person for you. And you ain't that person for them. But it's like you learn that lesson on being able to know. It may be lonely now, but universe and God is bringing people in your life that is going to really see you. They're going to see you a lot of times. It's just some of the times people going to see you before you see you. And they really want to invest in you. It's just like, man, let me go ahead and give them that insight that they need. Because I really see that person is trying. I really see that they're trying to get to that next level. And it can be very scary. You know, when we're doing that, because people are like, girl, you acting like you had it all together. I don't know what, I, I keep it very real with you. There'll be some time I'm lost in my own transition, you know, and I can keep it real with that. There'll be times I can say, even when I'm in my strength, I've had weak moments. There'll be days where I felt like folding. There'll be days where I did not want to live anymore. There'll be days that I wanted to give up on everything, but I can keep it real. It's like, no, but I'm allowing myself to go through those different situations because I went through some shit. You know, and, and went through it. And I mean, hit it heavy. But then when I allowed myself to really see you a strong person. Because look at all the odds that went against you. And you still being that positive for yourself. You know, you still making, breaking even for yourself. And when you're allowing yourself to really go through that. And you being able to just say, there will be days I, I don't feel like being bothered with nobody. There will be days that I hate the world. There will be days I hate people. You know, but then it reminds me what I'm here for. It reminds me of the purpose that I have. You know, he never promised those things would be easy. He never said that it would be rainbow sunshines and roses every day. You know. Those storms is clearing me in every way possible. Even I have to make sense out of things that feel like it's nonsense. I have to understand the confusing, you know. And those are the different things you do. You, you go through these. These are the lessons you go through to make these mistakes. When you make rash mistakes and you see where that, 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 that mistake him took you to, it's going to show you you need to learn it from that first time. And when you learn it from that, you won't have to go through this again. You know, there'll be different things that'll take place where it, it can really uh, 
take you to that next level and you're going through that next level that's why everything is just so daggone um uncomfortable you know you're going on new levels and on the corners is every different devil you have to understand that there'll be different times that people don't want to see you shine People don't want to see you happy. And they're going to do every everything that they possibly can to make sure that doesn't happen. But these will be those same situations that's going to strengthen you anyway. But I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. would love to give a post notification shout out to Koi Lejeune. Much love to you as well. And if you're new to the channel, please drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I always leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Just be able to help you out the best way I possibly can, you know, being able to broaden your perspective and give you a deeper understanding of your purpose. You know, a lot of people hit me up one-on-one -on, -one on my email or whatever, let me know what they've gone through with the stuff they faced and where they're heading to now or where they're at now and just wanting assistance. And I try my best to be able to help out where I can, you know, whatever we speak on is confidential. Um, and I also leave the link to my podcast as well. Um, this on here, I share my different podcast on my community section of my um, channel as well that is on Spotify. And um, if you ever feel generous enough to, you know, drop a donation, I'll greatly be appreciated. There's Cash App as well. You know, and whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, um, I'm just sending so many beautiful blessings. Whatever you need it, you know, what you're in need of right now, I'm doubling it up, tripling it up. You know, just be able to get it, you know, get you through. Because I know a lot of us is tired. I know a lot of us is just going and it's like you hitting on fumes. And it's okay. As long as you're allowing yourself to show up for yourself, ain't nothing, nothing can be able to tell you anything else about yourself. Except when it comes from the universe. So, you know, you keep on being consistent and persistent. You know, the devil may try to make you give up today because your blessings may be coming in tomorrow. You allow yourself to rest. You take a pause for that cause but you allow yourself to keep going all right and much love to you whoever you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things really take somebody a long way much love to you god bless namaste peace